everybody. So continuing on with Mystery Toy Week, I have another episode of Blue Duggy's Mystery Toy Box. And Max put in another mystery toy in here that I'll review for you guys. So let's see what's in the toy box. Ah, oh, awesome. We have a another mystery blind bag to go with Mystery Week. And then we have something that I really wanted that I had no idea. Oh my goodness, cool. Play-Doh Sweet Shop. You can make different uh, sundaes and everything out of Play-Doh, so I'm really excited about this and try it out with you guys. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and open the Nitro Mites and it contains one little mini bike in it. Let's see which little Nitro Mite bike we got. Oh, this one's cool. It looks like it's a glow-in-the-dark one. It has like a skull pattern on the side there. It's number 24. I look at the card that it comes with, um, the little collector's leaflet. Let's see. And find number 24 is, a, its name is Glow. So it glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. Here's the front of the Play-Doh box. It's Sweet Shop Swirl and Scoop Ice Cream Set. And it comes with five different Play-Dohs and this really cool, um, some accessories and everything. Here's a look at the other side and it just gives you some ideas, like the little cherry on top and you have a scoop, like for ice cream for your Play-Doh. Here's all the things you get with this Sweet Shop set. And it does come with some instructions because there is a little bit of assembly required. But it's really, really easy um, to put it together. And then they also have tips how to use the different Play-Doh and tools that you get. And also has the tip of using a small bit of Play-Doh to remove the shape so they come out nice. And how you can make the sundaes. And one thing I was wondering that it does answer in here, because when I was a kid, I don't think they had Play-Doh Plus. I don't remember ever having Play-Doh Plus. I was wondering, what is the difference? And they don't, they don't really say technically what the difference is, but you're supposed to use the Play-Doh Plus for the extruding, which is like to make the soft ice cream or whipping cream part. You put in here, and then you you know, press it down so it comes out looking like ice cream. And then the classic Play-Doh you use for the mold and scooping. So I'm thinking that the Play-Doh Play Plus is just a little bit softer and easier to extrude. And then the regular Play-Doh, you know, is more solid for scoops and the molds and everything like that which you get five cans of play-doh three of the play-doh plus in neon pink yellow and blue and then two of the classic play-doh and i think this is like a purpley lavender color and then a minty kind of green color and then you get a lot of accessories you get three of these ice cream cones in the mint, pink, and orange. And you get two different spoons. This one has a hole on the bottom. So I'm not real sure about that. Wait, oh, this is probably for making ice cream and this would be for making like smaller details. And then you also get these two sundae cups that look like glass little sundae cups. And then you, of course, get the main machine that has all these molds all around it. And then it has little spaces that you can use for storage for your Play-Doh. You can put the little um, cans in these spaces. But when you're playing with it, you can put the ice cream cones on them. And they stay pretty good because there is a box shape on the bottom there and then also the Sunday little cups also have the same thing where you can put it on here you gotta kinda yeah like that 
so that stays. And then the Sunday Cups also, um, ice cream cones and Sunday Cups, because they both have this on the bottom, they can um, sit in this middle thing. You just have to line up the square pegs um, so they don't fall over when you're making your little ice cream cone or sundae and then you turn the bottom thing while pressing the play-doh down and it'll make a classic ice cream um, cone shape yeah so I haven't played with play-doh in so long like uh, since I was a kid so I'm really excited about playing with this and I'll try to make a sundae I think in an ice cream cone with a little decoration for this the video. first thing I'm going to try is to make the ice cream through the extruder and on the box art they have it with like two colors so it's like a twist um twist sundae but I think that would like mix up your play-doh a lot and you know once you mix up play-doh it's hard to separate them so I was opening up the blue play-doh plus um, can and it's the blue color trying to get it out I'll try to use this there we go here is the play-doh plus it's very soft. Yeah, it's a lot more soft than I remember the regular Play-Doh being. So I'm going to try and put it in the extruder to make my cone. Like that. And then you put the pink part here and some of it's going to get cut off, obviously, because, you know, too much. Um... So I'm pressing it down, and then it has you this handle up here, if you guys can see, that you press it down with. And then you have your hand, for one hand free to turn the cone. So this is my first time doing it, so I don't know how good it's going to be. But when I was a teenager, I worked at an ice cream um, store briefly it was just like down the road from my house but it was only one summer <laughs> oh man this is just not not going how it's supposed to it's supposed to go like in a circle it doesn't seem to be doing it very good oh well uh okay so that's all the play-doh i should have packed more in i guess but then i'll use the little spoon Kind of tear it off. Arr! There we go. <laughs> That's not a very good cone, but you know, you get the idea. Kind of maybe mold it a little bit so it looks a little better. Kind of a little bit. <laughs> not really. Yeah, so I'm going to probably make some little molds to go on it maybe with the pink. I won't press the molds down too hard because I don't want to, you know, get them mixed up colors and make it all muddled. The Play-Doh. Come on. Come out. Ugh. Okay, there we go. There's some of the purpley color. Um, let me try. Let's see here. Which mold? I kind of want to do the cherry. So I'll try the cherry mold here. Press it down. Man, it's going to have too much excess here. I'll try to tear that off. So it'll be a nicer cherry. But yeah, I really like that this set is like, you know, sweet shop themed. That's cute. And so like the tip said, use a little bit of this to get it out. Are you going to, are you going to come out or no? <laughs> this tip is not working very well. Okay. I was just using my fingers. That seems to work well. And we've got a little cool purpley cherry here that I can put on my ice cream cone, like on the top like that. Aw, that's pretty cute. 
It's kind of cool. I definitely need to get some of that white Play-Doh Plus. Like if I want to do a sundae with whipping cream on top, that would be a good idea. Okay, and now for my sundae, I'm going to try to use this green ice cream to make ice cream scoops like. Kind of get it in there. I'm going to use this cup. I'm going to do one big ice cream scoop. That looks pretty good because the ice cream scoops usually have like that edge. And then maybe like a smaller scoop of the green on top. Hmm, I wonder what flavor, not the Play-Doh, but like if you get ice cream. I think this color is usually like pistachio. Have any of you ever tried pistachio ice cream? I've not, but I think it would be good. And if you do get this, never eat the Play-Doh. <laughs> That'd be so gross. Play-Doh is not good. So there's my two like ice cream scoops. And then, hmm... Maybe I'll try to do a little bit of yellow on the top to like be like whipping cream since I don't have the white right now. At some point I should get the white. And I also really want to get the, um, the pack of Play-Doh Plus that looks like ice cream with chips in it. I saw it at the um, store and it looked really cool but I didn't get it. And they also have glitter Play-Doh Plus. That would be cool. I want glitter too. Ah. Okay, so here's the yellow and I'll try to put it in the extruder. Hopefully, oh, there's a little bit of blue in here that I need to clean out. Okay, so I packed the extruder with the yellow, which there's a tiny bit of blue that it doesn't seem like I, I wasn't able to get at it. So it's probably gonna come out with the yellow. But oh well. Anyway, I packed the whole entire can of yellow in this time. So hopefully it'll work a bit better. Yeah, you can get a little blue um, on this Sunday. Ice cream, stay down. Okay. Ah! Gotta keep the scoop from falling over. Anyway, let's go whipping cream. This is going to just like totally knock it over. Look at that. It's like coming out pretty good this time though. This is like a whole bunch of ice cream on top, not like a, a sundae. I think the extru extruder could be a little taller because it's a little hard to actually get the cone and everything out when you have the ice cream on top, the play-doh on top. It was a little bit taller. I think it would work a little better. My camera keeps on falling over. I apologize. Anyway, here we go. So that doesn't look like whipped cream at all. It looks like I'm making a lemon lime sherbet sundae. <laughs> it looks pretty awful. But, you know, it's my first time playing with it in I don't know how many years. So um, I'll try and make a couple more little molds to go on this sundae. I see one that I really want to try out. This little gingerbread man over here. Looks pretty cool right here. Right here. I feel like I need something to cut off the edges. Ew, just my fingers. Okay, and take it out. Try. Take it out. Yeah, there's a lot of extra on this one. But it's a pretty cute little mold there. Put that there, and then put the little, oh, cherry fell off. Cherry on top here. Maybe I can use a little pink and make little sprinkles. <laughs> These Play-Doh cans are pretty hard to open for the first time. Wow, this pink is really, really bright. Wah! It's really bright pink. So, like, for little sprinkles, you probably just put little dots all over it. This is a really weird Sunday. If I got served a Sunday that looked like this, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> Be like, uh, no thanks. 
But it's fun to play with a Play-Doh. Like different designs and everything. Like that, sort of. Yeah, a little weird Sunday. <laughs> but basically, that's how it works. And then you can like put your creations on top of these little pegs and display them. Like so. So yeah, it's a lot of fun um, to play with. You know, make different sprinkles and designs and sundaes and ice cream and just basically anything you can imagine. Okay guys, so I went ahead and made a little banana split sundae and it has that little smiley face and strawberry and a pretzel on it. Now, yeah, it's pretty cool they have um, banana molds on the side right here is a banana. So it gives that <clears throat> banana texture. So there are my two wonderful sundaes. Uh, they're not very good, but they were fun to make. You know, that's the important thing if you have fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this uh, Blue Duckies Mystery Toy Box that had Play-Doh and also the little Nitro Mite that we got in that blind bag. Um, make sure to thumbs this video up if you enjoyed seeing Play-Doh or if you're enjoying Mystery Toy Week. And also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all Mystery Toy Week's episodes and um, all my toy episodes past that. And finally, comment down below. <laughs> um, you could say uh, if you enjoyed seeing me like totally fail at making Play-Doh Sundays. <laughs> or um, if you enjoy Play-Doh, if you would like to see me do more Play-Doh um, things, challenges, whatever with Play-Doh. And you can also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!